If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is my 13th boss fight. This is also an optional boss. Um, this is Abridius, daughter of the cosmos, and this thing is hideous. If this is the daughter, I would hate to see what her mother looks like. But I have to say, so far, this was definitely the most satisfying boss fight and win that I've encountered so far. Simply because I felt like I felt like I finally paid the game back for all the cheap little tidbits and exploits that the enemies and the bosses do to you in this game that just don't seem fair. I feel like I finally got them back for all of that. They want to be cheap? I was cheap too. I pretty, I damn near almost broke the game. I found a little exploit in this boss and pretty much rendered it unable to do anything to the point where I was able to take out half of its life bar without it moving. So it felt so good after, you know, bosses time and time again doing cheap things to you, I was finally able to do something cheap back. And this boss was giving me, you know, it's pretty powerful. It has some like one, it, it killed me, I don't know, probably at least seven times, I think. You know, it has some powerful attacks. It even has this one attack. If don't get don't get slammed on the ground because it could finish your whole life bar if it catches you in this certain series of attacks. And then on the third stage, when you get it get it down to its lowest health, it has laser beams. That it shoots out, it shoots out of its freaking face. But you're not going to get to see that because I, like I said, I exploited this boss. I got cheap, right? I felt like the boss in this fight. I was the boss. This thing was the challenger. This thing was the player. It was trying to beat me. It was struggling in this fight. But from the very beginning, the I realized the best chance I have and the best way to go about about beating this boss is to get behind it right in between its little uh, split tails because this uh, this boss is pretty unfair it has uh, I hate that charge attack it has wings and tentacles and uh, sometimes the strategy doesn't always work because when you get behind it right between its little split tail um, sometimes it does fly away but regardless getting behind it and right in right in between that little split area is kind of, that's the key um, because uh, some of the you can still get hit, but it's less likely. You don't. You, the last thing you want to do is be in front of it. You want to be right in back of it. Sometimes when you get right between its its uh its split tail, it will uh it will um sometimes your body will like phase through and fall through the front of it. Sometimes getting behind it is really difficult because it's like spinning on an axis. It doesn't even turn realistically sometimes. The way you see it turn is it's not even realistic. It's like it's just spinning on an axis. It's not realistically turning um, how it should. So, you know, just to make things uh, easier, I recommend, you know, maybe having some fire paper uh, or bolt paper. Or I have this thing, which is an inf you can use it infinitely and it gives your weapon some arcane power. I don't think I used it in this video. Um, it's the shell. It's the empty shell of something, and this is the part right here. And I think the key to this working was I think he backed up. Oh no, yeah, right here he backed up into the wall, kinda, and I was able to get right in the back of him, right in them cheeks, right there, right. So and then I realized I had him. Turned the burn paper on, and I, the other key to this was I uh, I used a charged attack and was able to kind of stun it right there. So I was able to get some another free. A few more free hits in. As you can see, it's not moving. I'm just going to town on this thing. Charged attacks. Uh, the charge attacks seem to be stunning it and keeping it there. And I'm just going to town on this life bar. It was, it was just an easy time after that. Health is real. Health is real low. And after that, I realized I had it. All I had to do was be careful, and it was in the bag. So, like I said. That's probably the easiest way on how to take this boss down is stay right back there. Stay right between them cheeks. You don't want to get hit by that blood vomit because that uh, that you know gives you frenzy and that'll just take away 
like 70% of your life bar so you want to avoid that blood vomit and you want to just try to run and avoid its charge attack um, and that will give you some opportunity to attack but yeah that was it I, I felt good I felt good about beating it right there because I finally finally paid back the game I broke the game I was the cheap one right I exploited that boss and it felt good it felt real good so yeah that's it y'all I'm out of here peace